I said, we, we fall all the way through the end. Jamon, uh, what's the talk on the sideline after giving up those touchdowns just to stay in it and recover, and then you guys held them to six points towards the end of the game, and that was huge. I don't have time to talk about no touchdowns. Next drive. They score, okay, they're on the board. We got a uh, next play. Next next play mentality. You can't spend too long thinking about the last play. You mess your next, you mess your next play up. You have you focus on the next play. So we put that aside. Every time they score, all right, next play, you need to stop. <clears throat> you got to stop. They probably score. I don't know how the game kept winning, but they score, all right, you need to stop. We good. It's, they scored on me. My team was like, hey, you good. They scored on somebody else. Hey, we good. Next play. Next play mentality. You know? We would have kept thinking about the last play. We wouldn't probably be where we are today. Has it sunk in yet that you all will be playing? Has it sunk in yet that you all will be playing for a national championship once again? And tell me how does that feel? It feel good, you know. We came into this game without it. Uh, y'all kept asking about old state offense all week. Um, you, know, you know, I get credit to them. They do have a pretty good offense, but you know, we got a pretty good defense. You know, we got to just lock in. Um, and we got to do our job. How about some of the games from earlier in the season where you guys did have to battle back, unlike last year's team, um, where you did have to you know, battle through being tested in some situations like at Missouri, Kent State, where things were kind of piling up like tonight. I know tonight was a new, a new extreme, but how did those games prepare you and kind of strengthen your muscle for a game like this? Uh, it's pretty good. You know, we, we, we seen kind of, what kind of team we had early in the season. Like you said, going to the Missouri game, we was down, I don't know how much, but we was going down um, at halftime, just like we were in this game. Um, so I, I wasn't really worried about it. Different team we going against, but same player that was on the, on the field versus Missouri game. You know, we look each other in the eyes, you know. I'm like, shit, we got this game. So, um, you know, always thinking ahead, you know, always trusting your teammates. Like, I believe every single one of my teammates. Like, you know, they, they score on one of them, but I believe in them at the end of the day, you know. Uh, I know what we've been through. Uh, summer, spring, fall. I know what everybody uh, wanted to do, want to accomplish. And we're on the road to do that. So, and guess what? It ain't, it ain't hard. I mean, it ain't easy to do. It's hard. And that's how we like it. Kenny was talking about the Missouri game, and he said that it was a conversation on the sideline for a lot of the offensive guys. I'm curious if it was brought up on the defensive side as well. Tell you. Was it brought up on the sideline in the Missouri game? Were you guys talking about it since you faced a similar situation like you were just talking about? Oh, no. We were just talking about, you know, we got y'all back. Um, you know, they scored. The office coming to tell us we got y'all back. You know, we, we got we to gotta stop them. We got their back. Um, we got we just kept going blow for blow. And um, eventually, defense kept getting the stops. You know, office kept going up, going up, going up. And we just playing <clears throat> complimentary football at the end of the day. Uh, office had our back. We had office back. How much did the Marvin Harris I mean, it didn't change anything for us, but I mean, they had to go. They had to find a new target to go to. I guess that's what you would say. They had to find a new uh, favorite target to go to. Uh, when he was in the game, you know, they targeted him a bunch of times. Um, him being out, you know, they had to find a new receiver. Um, I guess he was just dishing it everywhere. Um, but it was no problem because, you know, like I said, they had a pretty good time in the room. So I don't feel like there's no problem for him. It seemed like um, that kind of changed things for you guys uh, in the fourth quarter. Defensively, you held them to, I think, three points. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it didn't change us. We, we didn't game plan against Marvin Harrison. Um, you know, we, we play, <clears throat> play our ball. Uh, if they changed their offense up because he got hurt or he wasn't there, you know, that's on them. But you know, it, it didn't change our game plan. We kept all of them. We, we, we stuck to our game plan. Was there something different about what you guys did in the fourth quarter specifically that helped them out of the end zone? Man up. Okay. <laughs> That was the biggest difference? Yeah, uh, what we're going to do. Uh, championship teams is built on that moment and how we was trailing. Coach kept saying that championship teams is what we're about to do now, and that's a comeback, and that's what we did. I know there's been a, a real interest in separating last year from this year for Georgia, but how much was what you did last year in being champions contributing to tonight? Uh, you know, really, the comparisons, um, you know, we want to like <laughs> we want to do something that they didn't do. Um, you know, like I always say, we're on the verge of doing it. You know, we got one more. We got to finish it off strong. We want a mission, baby. We want a mission. Uh, being doubted from not even game one, spring or fall, we haven't. I haven't seen our team without doubting us. So the doubt us motivate us. 
Is there any sense of confidence that you took over from last year that has played a point in this? Uh, yeah, without it. You know, me and Smile look at each other like, we finna we finna do this. Like, even last year, when them boys was winning it, we always talked to each other like, hey, we got it next year. And then they're already down there. They don't even know it yet. <laughs> they already down there. I can't have somebody I don't even know. But, you know, that, that would motivate us to do what we do this year. Um, to lead a team back to another, another national championship, that's what we want to do. What does it mean now that you have a chance to win back-to-back -back national championships? You're one win away. It means a lot. Uh, like I say, we just want to, it's more like, Proving ourselves right and proving the doubters wrong. And um, you know, that's what we've worked on all year, all season long. You know, we've been doubted three times this year. How? I don't know. But, you know, we're going to keep chopping at the end of the day. We're going to keep going. How much does this game 